Hi, I'm Don with Grody. Today we're going to do the Waterfall Applicator Sanitation Teardown. All right, we'll start with the number one conveyor. First thing that comes off is the exit guard. That goes to your sanitation cart. Make sure you flip this up over. This one comes up, out. Then you move down to the pull pin. And the number one scraper. That goes to your sanitation cart. Okay, then comes removing the belt. Comes up over. One thing to remember is these have guide rolls on them here. You gotta make sure you lift it up and out there. All right, we're gonna start with the, the number two or the Z conveyor. Um, I am using a step ladder to pull the snorkel because it's kind of heavy. Okay, so now we're gonna take the guards off the number two conveyor. They come up and out and go to the sanitation cart. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the clips off. There's three outboard, two inboard. You're gonna pull the rollers here, same pull pin. All right, then you can lift. And it hangs right, right there on those hooks. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the idle roller for the number two belt. First thing you wanna do is make sure you release the tension. Red handles go down. Roller should push in. All right, then you gotta release the knob here, handle here, and there's one up in there. And then you wanna go up and take this off. Once it's released, there's really no easy way to get it out. You just get it out. There. All right, so now we're gonna clean the number two belt. You can clean the belt either here or up in here, okay? Just make sure that you clean the drive knuckles here. That's where the cheese builds up, it's around the drive knuckles, and there's two rows. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the extensions on so we can slide the number two conveyor out so you can clean on the inside of the machine. Okay, what you're gonna need, you need a 17 millimeter wrench. Crack these guys loose here and pull the caps off. You wanna do these one at a time. Pull the cap, put the extension in. Okay, you wanna make sure that you take the cover off the hook. Notice that it snags right there, so be careful, don't put your hands in here and get them crushed when you pull it out. All right, so now we're gonna start with the number three conveyor. To get the number three conveyor ready, we gotta take the scraper off underneath, the block in the back, and this guard off, and then we'll get the belts off. All right, to get the scraper off, you gotta loosen them up here. This goes to your sanitation cart. Come back here, get the, the cheese guard here. Now you wanna pull this guard. This all goes to the sanitation cart. Release tension on the belt. Okay. Now, to get the belts off, you come up to the front, pull them off of here, create your slack there. 
and then they come off out and around the whole belt. Then they go to your sanitation cart. All right, then you're gonna remove your cheese tray here. All right, so now we're gonna take the portion belt off for cleaning. Take the portion belt off, this comes up and out. Scraper comes off here. That goes to your parts cart. You wanna pull the guard here, pull the pin, pull it back. Inboard and outboard side. Make sure the air is off so you can push slack in your belt. And now we just work the belt off. Now once you get out here, there's some drive splines in here. Make sure you pull them out, away, and then over. And then you get you some help to put the belt on the, the parts cart. All right, so now we're gonna take the product belt off. Product belt is basically the same operation as a portion belt, it's just a little bigger. We've got the uh, scraper up here. Comes off, goes to your parts, goes to the parts cart. So then you come to the back, you need to get your eye bar out of the way. And this comes off the exact same way, it's got the same drive splines on it. Most of the time, you're gonna need help taking the product belt off, because it's heavier. Now sanitation is complete on your machine. If you need to go back through for reassembly for production, just go reverse order and check out your operator's manual.